All right, so in this video, I'm gonna walk through the basics of Bookmap, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys what you can look for using the Bookmap tools that could allow you to build a trade thesis. So to get right into it, everybody knows Bookmap for this whole situation you have going on right here, what you're looking at. So these lines right here, these are passive orders in the market sitting so so above price these would all be sell orders and below price these would all be buy orders and you can see how large they are according to the colors so by looking up here you can see that the red orders are the largest and the dark blue is where there's either very little orders or no orders so if you guys are just getting onto book map I'm pretty sure it'll look something more like this or something of the sort. I like to turn mine all the way up just because I don't like all that noise in my face. But so yeah, the heat map, that's what you're looking at in the back. That's what the lines are. And then these bubbles you see right here are also a very intriguing part of book map that I'm sure a lot of you see. And some of you might be like, what is that? Um, these are just aggressive transactions that have occurred in the marketplace so right now we're looking at es and you can see all of these large aggressive selling orders coming through these are actually completed transactions so this isn't a, an order flow tutorial or anything but whenever a transaction happens in the marketplace you need an aggressive order and a passive order so aggressive participants they take liquidity out of these passive orders and that's how price moves so i'm guessing if you're on this video you probably already know that or maybe if you're just getting into order flow that's something you'll learn very quickly but obviously you're into order flow if you are watching a book map video but um yeah so bubbles aggressive participants and these lines are passive participants. So I guess the next point I should talk about is the session volume profile. So that's right here. And you can split this up or you can leave it like this. So I like mine split up between the selling and the buying. And what this is, is basically just transactions that have taken place in the market. So as you can see by this uh, little bump right here, this is where the most transactions have taken place since I've been logged on to Bookmap. This is only like, um, this is roughly like 30 minutes of data you're looking at. So this is not for like the whole day or anything. This is just the data that I have loaded into Bookmap right now. So that's what the session volume profile is. And then over here, you have the current order book. So this is just the these are just passive orders that are sitting in the market and aggressive orders are coming through and they're hitting these orders right here and that's how a transaction is completed so that's that and you can customize this whole right side i honestly forget what the default layout for bookmap is um i don't think it has the time and sales so this over here is the time and sales and these are essentially just transactions that have been completed in the marketplace. So I have mine set to 50 and above because I want to watch for the larger ones. But if you just remove that, you can see everything that's happening transaction wise. You can set it up to 100. I guess in the last 30 minutes, there's not been transactions that large. But yeah, I leave mine on 50. And then so yeah, from there. If you look down here, you can see the CVD kind of looks like a speedometer or a gauge of some sort, which it is actually a gauge. So what the CVD represents is the aggressive participation in the market. Specifically, it represents the difference between aggressive buying and aggressive selling transactions in the market. So as you can see, so just for an easy example you can see as price is selling off right here you see these large red bubbles 
that's aggressive participation and you can see by the lack of green bubbles that there's more selling than buying that's happening aggressively right now and that is also depicted by the cvd so i use the cvd to get a good gauge on what the aggressive participants are doing at certain levels i don't watch it um religiously but i use it as a tool to help me make a decision based on what's happening at a certain price level that i was already had my eye on so like i said in the end of this video after i'm done walking through everything i'm going to leave a few tips for you guys on what you can look for in all of these tools to make a trade thesis that would be a higher probability than if you were just looking at a chart because after all, this is exactly what's happening behind the candlesticks. Uh, behind the candlesticks, this is exactly what it looks like. These are just transactions that are taking place that move the market, right? On the right side of the screen right now, just below me, this is called the depth of market. This is probably my favorite tool that Bookmap has. And what it displays is all the same data you're always going to get the same data. It's just going to be displayed differently uh, in different ways. Just like how a footprint chart displays volume by price, the DOM also displays volume by price in a different way, but it's all the same stuff. So to walk you guys through the DOM from right to left. So starting off, you have the session volume profile. That's the same as the session volume profile over here. It's all the same data. And then we have price and then we have passive orders on the ask right here and passive buys on the bid right here and then in between that you see the recent bid and the recent ask and then to the left of that you see the session volume profile except it's split up into buying and selling so these are essentially the same thing except these are split obviously and then you have the volume profile delta. So, so yeah, this is probably the most important part of the DOM for me, the volume profile delta. And what this does is it measures the difference between aggressive participants, kind of like the cumulative volume delta, except this does it by price. So what you're seeing for a quick example here is you see 1,400 lots on 6,100. So what this means is there's 1,400 more aggressive buyers than there were aggressive sellers at this price and once again i'm going to walk you guys through how you can use these tools at the end of this video but um yeah so this is just the difference in aggressive participation similar to cumulative volume delta but you can see the difference by looking at it this is by price and this is just based this is just on a line. So to give you guys a better understanding of the difference, they both measure aggressive participation, but the cumulative volume delta, the way I look at it, is it kind of gives you a better depiction of the flow. So if you see a downtrend starting to turn around, flatten out, and possibly move to an uptrend, like kind of right now, I don't want to say this is a setup you should take, but like, you see how it was moving down and then we're starting to flatten out. This is indicating that selling is starting to slow down or that buying is starting to come in. And then on the volume profile delta, you can see it by price. So like, or you can see at this little zone from 98.50 down to like 96, you can see there was more aggressive selling in this area than there was aggressive buying. So like I said, this isn't gonna be like an order flow tutorial video. This is a book map tutorial video. So I'm assuming you know a little bit about order flow, but those are all the most important tools in book map and it's all very customizable. So like if you want to, you can customize this column right here and you can take the time and sales out. You can take you can take it all out and you can also add a bunch of stuff like all of these things you can add. I like to just, I only have the things that I really pay attention to, but um, yeah, it's very customizable and you can just like, you know, make everything how you really want it to be for how you trade. So this is how I have my book map set up. You're looking at it 
exactly how I have it every day. Um, I have my, whatever you call this, contrast. I have my contrast all the way up. I have my profile bubbles around halfway. And then, yeah, this is what I have. I like to run my orders on 50 most of the time. And that's pretty much how my book map is set up. So, so yeah, now that we kind of have the general grasp of book map, I will give you guys some brief, I don't have any trade examples for this video. I have trade examples all over my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, give me a like, subscribe, and just go through my YouTube channel if you want actual trade examples. I always walk through the book map replay. So there's that. But to give you guys some examples on how you could actually use book map to take trades. So I feel like one common thing for a lot of people when they first get on book map is they're so focused on these limit orders on the heat map and they always want to say like there's a buy wall down here so that's going to support price and if price comes near here i'm just going to take a long and guess that price moves up but uh you will learn that that's definitely not the way you use a heat map um that's not the way you use volume in general but um so basically if you're using volume to base if you're using volume to create a trade thesis, it's all about the relationship between passive and aggressive participants. So what I personally do is I have levels that I find from the chart and sometimes I will use the order flow if there's something crazy, like if there's an anomaly that could represent a good level, I will use that. But most of the time I'm using levels that I find on the chart and if I find a level that I suspect price will bounce off of, I will watch for what happens in book map when we test it. So let's just say for this example, which this might not be the best depiction, but if you guys remember how I told you the CVD represents the flow of aggressive orders or aggressive transactions in the market, right? So what I could say here is I like to pair things. First of all, you like to pair things together and that would offer you higher probability setups. But for this example, this is not something I would take. I don't think I'm just using the data that I have loaded in book map, but like, let's just say this. So see how there's very large aggressive participants all the way down this little trend. And the largest bubble you see is right here at 69,750. And while you see this happen, so CVD is trending and then you see it flatten out right here, right? So it was moving down and then it started to flatten out. And whenever this flattens out, you can make the assumption that either buying is coming in or selling is stopping. So while this was flattening out, if you zoom in a little bit, you can see price kind of making higher highs little by little. So this would be a good point you could possibly look to take long. And what I would do is I would probably wait for volume to come in. Like right now, this would be good volume. And I would wait for price to come down and retest it. And I would enter and then I'd have my stop loss either right below this low or possibly even right at this large absorption area right here. You're using these tools to get a judgment on the relationship between aggressive and passive participants. So like i said on the dom over here you see the volume profile delta and this represents the difference between aggressive participants right so let's just say so let's just say price is coming into a supply level on a candlestick chart people would basically wait for some people would enter immediately on a supply zone and some people would wait to see some sort of reaction. But you can use Bookmap to verify that that supply zone will actually be a place where sellers step in, which would possibly create a reversal. So let's just say theoretically we were approaching a supply zone right now. Or let's say we were in one right now at 6100. Let's say 6100 is a supply zone. So what you're looking for is you want to see if the selling is strong at these levels. And there's a few ways you can 
gauge whether or not sellers are actually going to be strong at this area so let's say let's say price comes into the supply zone and then you have a bunch of huge um, blue volume delta just like that representing a lot of buying and let's just say there's like a huge cluster of blue volume delta all at different prices you could use that and say there's aggressive buyers that are not being rewarded because the price is moving is not moving up so therefore that could be a sign of aggressive or of strong selling you could also use the cvd let's say you came into that same supply zone and we were just rallying up on the cvd going up and up it was uptrending and then as we're in this supply zone you see some more dips coming in or you see it starting to move sideways i would indicate that the flow of aggressive participants is changing from buying to selling and that could be an indication that would lead you to take a short position those are pretty much the ways i that i use bookmap to gauge uh, the auction i basically just primarily look for the relationship between buyers and sellers at given levels and I will use mostly the CVD and the volume profile delta, as well as looking at these aggressive bubbles right here to gauge the relationship between buyers and sellers. Like I said before, a lot of people get on bookmap and they kind of get caught up on these like passive orders. And while we can definitely bounce off of these passive orders, if I have one tip to give you guys, it should not be like, it should not be to just use this heat map and say like, oh, look, there's a big wall at 105. Like, there's no way we're going to move through that because price could easily find lots of aggressive buyers right here and they could just destroy this level. So the whole point of order flow in general is to just gauge the relationship between buyers and sellers in the auction and that's how you create your trade thesis so like i said already i use levels off of the chart and off of the order flow and then whenever price revisits those levels i will look and see if there's any opportunity for me to take an entry so i think that pretty much covers i'm pretty sure that's everything i could have covered the way i use bookmap if you guys think i missed anything let me know in the comments if you guys use bookmap a different way than me, let me know in the comments as well. But yeah, like I said, I have trade examples on my YouTube already, and I'm always going through the bookmap replay because it's the only order flow tool that I use right now. So if you wanna see more trade recaps, go on my YouTube channel. If you like the video, give it a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.